so what we're gonna be doing today man what's up what's up what's up peace uh this is brother brother manifest uh deron chavis we're here at farm the family at the farm site and uh, today uh you know i just wanted to show y'all a little bit about what we've been doing uh, we're working on uh, a, a new method no-till method here at the farm you might have heard of roof stout so we're kind of utilizing that plus some other things. Uh, in a few minutes, uh, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna uh, uh, show how we are using straw, landscape uh, barrier, and uh, drip irrigation to uh, create uh, a weed-free garden as well as a nutrient-dense garden. I'm gonna throw some soil amendments into the mix. Uh, we're gonna spread some of this back, um, space out some of our rows. Um, you know, just show you a little bit of what we got going on and what we doing out here at uh, Farm and the Family. So uh, y'all rock with me for a little bit. Uh, make sure you subscribe uh, to the work. Um, we're looking forward to having an amazing spring. Uh, so a lot of this work is just dedicated to, you know, the downtime that we have in the winter, so. Yeah, see you in a little bit. Yeah, come follow along, see what we got going on. So yeah, this is uh, what it looks like after the fact. We uh, basically uh, put the um, whole area underneath uh, barrier and um, straw so it's a little path in the between everything also put down some biochar and some neem cake uh, oh deal with some of the pests that might evolve in the space so yeah this is um, ready for us to plant now uh gonna come in and do the rest of the rows the same way that we did this put some burlap in between the pass um yeah get it in should be dope looking forward uh the work that we're doing here uh at farm the family um you know yeah we took a hit with the covid or what have you but you know, we back at it. It's uh, it's it's it's, it's definitely a uh, slow but steady uh, effort. You know, one of my OGs, you know, told me back in the day that uh, this is a marathon, not a sprint. You know what I mean? And so, um, you know, I'm just hoping that everybody can get with it. Um, we are practicing a no-till method here at Farner Family. Uh, you'll see, you know, we use a lot of hay, you know, we use a lot of landscape fabric, um, soil amendments, you know, we come out and maybe we'll till in the beginning, the first time to really like break the soil up um, and maybe to add, you know, some compost in the first, you know, season or what have you. But after that, everything is, you know, designed to be super easy and we don't have to really use the implement uh, you know, big tractor or walk behind or BCS, anything like that on a continuous basis. Um, trying to make this stuff as easy as possible and accessible uh, for folks. Um, yeah, I think um, what's going to happen next, um, you know, we will come out, show you how to do uh, the biochar, how we add, you know, uh, the soil amendments to the to, to the to the farm space um, you know it's winter you know we got this really weird weather you know climate change is a thing it's feeling like you know 60 70 degrees out here and it's you know almost December 1st uh, so you know we're being precautious in terms of how we plant it's gonna be really a lot of brassicas a lot of uh, collard greens uh, mustard greens beets you know things like that and then most of the other things we're going probably straight up just more than likely just cover crop everything and just let it you know uh rest for uh for for december and uh january um and be ready for that action when we get to um when we get to january 
I mean, when we get to March, uh, February, March. So, um, yeah, yeah, witnessing, you know, the unfolding of this thing. You know, when we first started out, you know, really the whole vision was for this to be an incubator farm space, you know, six different plots, six different farmers. Uh, but it's been challenging, you know, with the COVID um, hitting everybody as hard as it hit everybody uh, to try to get that stable. Uh, but that's the vision. Um, you know, we over here working with Mark Lilly and, um, you know, his whole CSA program, which is really amazing. Um, and I'm appreciative of the collaboration. Um, but we definitely, you know, are looking forward to refining, you know, what we're doing.